Today, my wife and I went to see The Exorcist Believer, the new sequel to The Exorcist, uh, bringing back some characters for kind of small cameos, but basically telling a completely separate story. And while my wife enjoyed it very much, um, I thought it was just okay. It was pretty good. I'll say that. Um, but I wasn't blown away by it. And honestly, it's because of the second half of the film. So let me, let me talk about the first half of the film, which is the part that I really enjoyed a lot. So the entire plot that's laid out, the death early on at the beginning of the film, the, the rituals, the protection spell, um, everything that happens when they're in Haiti at the beginning of the story, I'm all in, right? I'm like, okay, this is going to be, and then, you know, with the earthquake, it, it, it left me unsettled. And that's what you want from an exorcist film, right? So, we flash forward 13 years, and kind of my only problem with that, like, initially was, I'm not sure this girl only looks 13 years old. She looks a little older, um, but who knows? I mean, some of the kids that, that, that my kids go to school with, and they're 13 years old, some of them look older, you know what I mean? There, there's, like, there's this kid... Uh, on my son's track team last year, I was like, oh, that's like a full-grown man in eighth grade. It's, you know, it's strange. Some kids age up way quicker than others, so I'll forgive it for that. Um, I rather enjoyed the girl, the African-American girl, who played, like, one of the main characters in the film. I thought she was fantastic. Um, uh, her father did a fantastic job in this film, uh, the gentleman who played her father. I was not as big of a fan as the other lead actress in the film. Um, and I'm sorry I don't know names here. Um, they were unknowns to me. Uh, pretty much everyone in this film was unknown to me, except for the uh, original actress from the original Exorcist, the mother of Reagan that they brought back. Um, everyone else was, was unknown to me. Uh, but, but I think for the most part, most of the cast did a really good job. And I think that the story that played out in this film was a really good story. I just don't like some of the choices that they made towards the end. Now, everything leading up to, um, you know, the girl's disappearance, um, them being found three days later, I'm creeped the fuck out at this point. And I love when they first reveal kind of their possession and what they look like when they're in the hospital... Um, all the stuff leading up to that, really, really great. It isn't until I get to the exorcism that I really kind of had trouble getting into it. Um, and, I, and I do, I like the idea that they did something new here, that they, they didn't make it all about Catholicism or Christianity, that they brought in some other, um, or, uh, some, some other religious aspects, um, different belief systems, and kind of made it about the, the power of belief more so than, like, the power of Jesus Christ or um, the Christian God. Um, they brought in some other ideas, and I like that. I like that they did that, because I think that for a modern story, I think it works better for a larger audience if you don't do that. What I, what I was kind of hoping for is that they, they leaned really heavy into that, right, and kind of went for... And they did. They mentioned that, you know, all different religions have their version of exorcism um, and all the belief systems are very similar. The ideas of, like, demons inhabiting bodies, you know, it, it, it's all it's all relative to each religion. Um, but then when they, when they actually get to the, the point of, like, they're going to exorcise these demons, that's where I kind of... I, th I think it got a little convoluted. I think that they tried to do too many things and couldn't decide which thing they wanted to do. Um, there were times when it seemed they were going to go all in on the original story, the uh, very heavy on Catholicism, uh, that, that they need a priest, they need someone to 
come in um, who is a, a, a Catholic exorcist, right? And they even go and appeal to the Catholic Church, and the Catholic Church denies uh, their use of one of their priests for an exorcism. And they went really hard on that, like that that was going to be detrimental, right? At first, they're like, oh, well, this is detrimental. What, what, what are we going to do? We don't have the guy, the guy we need, the guy that the film is named after, right? And they end up using this this woman who was originally going to join the convent when she was younger and then decided not to um, for various reasons. I don't want to give away too much in terms of that. I don't want to give away specifics if you haven't seen it. But I was okay with that too. You know what? You want to lean into this like, okay, um, give us a female lead in this film. We're still leaning pretty heavy on Catholicism here. Okay, it's the same exact, like, she's got to read the same rites, she's got to read from the same book, she's got to use the Bible, she's got to use the Lord's Prayer and other um, Christian ideas and, and, and Catholic rites. Okay, Catholic rituals. Okay, fine, we're, we're going Catholicism, straight Catholicism, right? But throughout the movie, they had introduced some other, like these uh, root belief, uh, I, I don't know exactly what it's called, but um, different cultures, interpretations, right, of like Christianity and how they practice. And there was a lot of kind of uh, different rituals um, that they use and different people, like different healers or um, religious leaders what have you, um, practitioners that they brought in, and so then I'm like, okay, yeah, all right, let's do a, let's do like a combination, right? We, we got, we got a little Catholicism, we got a little of this root, uh, belief system, uh, we've got kind of a non-believer, but used to be a believer, okay, fine, that's fine. When they start to fail, and then the priest comes in to help, even though he's been forbidden to help. It, it's, it seems like, oh, okay, now they're going to finally have the power to do this because they, they couldn't quite get it. But then the priest comes to save the day and immediately becomes irrelevant. I won't say how, um, but if you've seen the film, you know, he immediately becomes irrelevant. It's like, why did they have him stick around? Why did they have him come to save the day? I, 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 why did they build him up like he was so necessary um, to immediately discard him and then go along with this kind of like joint, uh, multi-ritualistic exorcism? I just wish they would have went one or the other way, kind of all the way, right? Um, I was fine with them doing this different kind of exorcism, right? Like using the whole community, that's fine. But why then keep referring back to this priest? Like, I, I, that's what bothered me. It bothered me that they couldn't figure out exactly what they wanted to do with this movie in terms of, you know, leaning on nostalgia or trying to go in a whole new direction. And it just, I don't know, it didn't work for me. It felt convoluted. It felt like they couldn't decide what would work. And then what ends up working is like this weird kind of hodgepodge like you're not even sure what happens in the end and they have to make a choice between which one of the girls they want to survive which I didn't understand that at all um, and I gotta say one character I absolutely hated was the father of Catherine in the film god what, what a terrible character I hated that guy and I think maybe you're kind of supposed to but it's hard because in the end, like, he comes around to the idea of working together with everyone, and it's like, you don't even want him there. You don't even want him there at the end. You're like, okay, I don't care that he came around. I hate him. Get him out of here. Um, anyway, I thought the film was pretty good overall. I, I wasn't a big fan of the convoluted mess that was the actual exorcism. Everything leading up to it, though, superb absolutely loved it absolutely loved it one other thing that bothered me and, it, and that's kind of i guess it kind of goes with the exorcism part of the film 
is would it kill him to like get the female actress who plays Catherine and the the male European voice that is speaking through her uh, in you know demonic tones would it kill them to sync that up a little better because that that bothered me I feel like the other actress it, it worked really well the the, the the dubbing right the sound of the male demon voice coming through her her lips moved in sync with what the demon was saying the Catherine character not so much and it really kind of bugged me like it took me out of it a little bit as I said, everything leading up to that, all the setup, the story in general, really good. Wasn't a huge fan of the execution of the actual exorcism part of the film. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below, or if you're listening in podcast form, you can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, at Real Brett Scott. And if you do decide to stick around and, and subscribe to the channel, um, I cover everything, pop culture and entertainment here, all the stuff I'm interested in. So if you're into that sort of thing too, please stick around. If you do decide to stick around, I'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks.